This video is sponsored by iSpring. Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Creative Pro. And in this video, I'd like to show you how you can paste tables from either Excel or Microsoft Word into your InDesign layout. If you're in a hurry and want a quick way to paste a table into your layout instead of going to File Place, here's what to do. Go to the application with the table you want to use. See how many rows and columns there are and copy the contents of the table. Back in InDesign, go to Table, Create Table, and in the Create Table dialog, enter the number of rows and columns you need and click OK. Then draw out your table. Select the top left cell. It'll be highlighted when it's selected. Then paste. The result should distribute the data to the individual cells. If that didn't work, don't worry. It's just a preference setting. On Windows, go to Edit, Preferences, Clipboard Handling, or on Mac OS, go to the InDesign menu, Preferences, Clipboard Handling. In the Win Pasting Text and Tables from Other Applications section, set Paste to Text Only. Click OK and let's try again. There we go. Now all the tabular data will be distributed to the correct cells through the various rows and columns. You can use the same process with Microsoft Word. Here's another table from a Microsoft Word document. Let's copy it, go to InDesign, make a table with the same number of rows and columns, draw the table, select the first cell, and paste. Now that we have the preferences set, the data from Microsoft Word also gets pasted properly. I would, however, add that the desktop and web versions of both Excel and Microsoft Word are different when it comes to copying and pasting tables. They both add spacing that will affect the placement of your content. Here's the online version of Excel. Let's copy this table, go back to InDesign, select and delete the content we had pasted from the desktop version of Excel, select the first cell, and paste. See how it's added empty rows? You could select each row, right click, and select Delete Row, but that doesn't seem very efficient, especially if your table has a lot of rows. What I'd recommend instead is opening the file in the desktop version. You can open it directly from your open file by going to the right side of the ribbon, selecting Editing, and clicking Open in Desktop. Then you can copy it from there. And it's a similar situation with the online Microsoft Word version. I'll copy a table. Go to InDesign, select and delete the previous content, select the top left cell, and paste. You can see that it not only adds empty rows, it's putting all of the data into a single column. These spaces might make it even more time consuming to fix, so I would also recommend opening it in the desktop version. I'm Myra Ferguson, and I hope this tip helps you when copying and pasting tables from Excel or Microsoft Word into your InDesign layout. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.